dominant in his sport that it's hard to remember how much parity there used to be on the PGA Tour before he arrived. It also seems a lifetime ago that a gangly 16-year-old kid with a big swing and an even bigger reputation made his way to Sonny Hanna for the first time. And as first impressions went, it was memorable. My clearest memory is when his father first indicated accepting the invitation that one of his inquiries was what security do we have at the tournament. He was one of the first players in the amateur I remember arriving with what I would refer to as an entourage. His father was with him and he had a sports psychologist with him. Had you ever had anyone here before that had a sports psychologist with him? Not that I know of. Uh, they also arrived on a private jet, which in uh, amateur circles uh, raised a lot of eyebrows back in those days. Woods came to Sonny Hanna fresh off an appearance at the 1992 LA Open, the youngest player ever to appear in a PGA Tour event at that time. We actually knew of that because the chairman of the LA Open that year was uh, someone who was originally from Johnstown. So that was one of the things that actually helped get Tiger here. And once he got here, the hype continued. Before his 8.30 tee-off time, Tiger had been asked to participate in a telephone news conference linking USGA officials across the eastern seaboard, submit to a local TV interview, and have a German television crew follow him around for their story about a talented black teenager playing in a predominantly white sports event. That was from a report I did in 1992 on the splash that Tiger made before he ever even teed it up at Sunny Hanna, but once he did, Eyebrows were raised for a different reason. Particularly impressed with Tiger. Um, I don't know how old he is. I guess he's 16. He looks pretty good. I mean, he just the way he hits the ball for a 16-year-old is amazing. You know, I was really impressed. He's got a very good swing. He hits a long ball for a you know slender boy like he is. He, of course, he is six foot tall, but uh, he's got a beautiful swing. He was long then. I remember uh, on number 15 where he hit it, uh, Mr. Green and two. Uh, pin high. You know I'm talking. From what I can remember, there was a very powerful swing, um, but he did not have the control, directional control. Actually, his short game was a little more special at that point than how far he hit it. I, I remember more vividly a few uh, up and downs that he made during the tournament that were really spectacular. Tiger finished a very respectable fourth that year, but his first round at Sunny Hanna was the only one he ever played under par. He tied for 10th in 1993 and never made it back. You know, I'm just happy we have some pictures of him and things like that, that we were smart enough to do that. Pictures, yes, but not many comments from Tiger. You haven't made up your mind, though, yet where you'd like to go to college. I'm only going to be a junior. Instead, he let his game and his father do his talking for him. He puts more pressure on himself than any external pressure that, could any, that anyone could exert on him. Now, more than a decade later, Tiger Woods still lets his game do his talking. He's become not only the preeminent player in his sport, but one of the most recognizable faces in the world, which leaves those who remember the teenage Tiger Woods all the more impressed. I felt he would be a great player. I didn't think he would dominate golf as much as he has. I mean, I didn't think anybody could dominate golf that much. Tiger has been thrust into a spotlight that only he and maybe Michael Jordan can relate to. Uh, figure at the top of uh, his sport in the sports world. In fact, he's really transcended sports. Bill Brown for Sports Center 6.